Okay, I'm gonna walk through how to set up the mask prefab on an avatar using VRC Fury. So first off, make sure you have VRC Fury. Uh, you can get that by going to VRC Fury, uh, VRC Fury .com, and click the download button right here. And import it into your um, avatar project and you're gonna be good to go. You also can avoid using VRC Fury, but in that situation you might need to use stuff like avatar tools um, to merge uh, parameter lists and animators. But we'll get to that. So first off, you're gonna want to navigate to Value Factory, Screen Space DLC, Prefabs, Mask, and then find this. This is gonna be the prefab that's you'll be put you'll be putting on your avatar so let's do that let's just drag that onto our wicker beast here and as you can see it has appeared at the feet and we can't really move it around that's because it's currently parent constrained to the world and then this is also parent constraint this is a bone constraint to nothing that's active so if we disable those we can move it around the thing is we want to be able to like we don't want to disable these so let's just keep them enabled uh, what we're going to do instead is we're going to put this on our, our left wrist here. And the way we're going to do that is we're just going to assign the hand uh, bone to be the parent constraint for the bone constraint here. So let's just find the wrist bone here. It should be in shoulder R. Yep. So let's use the hand bone here. Let's drag that into the parent constraint here. And as you can see, it already snapped. But you'll notice that... We can't really rotate anything yet, like, it just doesn't do anything. So what we're going to do is we're going to uh, disable this parent constraint and then try to move. Still doesn't work. All right, because we're moving the wrong thing. We actually want to move this bone constraint here. So let's position it in a way that we want this to appear on our avatar. So I kind of feel like what I want is something like this. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to press zero and activate. And then enable the parent constraint again. And now if we try to move it, as you can see, we can't. Uh, it's pretty much stuck there. And that's really it. At this point, uh, because there's a VRC Fury script here, set up with the effects controller the menus and the parameters you can just upload your avatar and it should work fine uh, the mask will be off by default uh, however you want to still make sure that your vrc fury script here has all these controllers uh, and all these parameters set up pro pro properly what i've had happen is that this these was this was pretty much empty and so i had to drag these in manually in, in an avatar so you can find these in the animation frames or misc folder here so if these are empty if these are none for you you want to drag these in manually another thing to note is that the materials here that i have set up you might want to set them up yourself um like you want to might maybe lower the amount of them that you have on the radio slider um and I can show you how that works right here. This is the clip that controls all the possible uh, materials that we can have. Um, there's like 47 right now. And each frame is just a material swap that I've animated. And you can delete these and you can change these. Or you can re-record this to be whatever you want. Uh, but the thing is, one important note here is that all these materials here, they have these show range and hide a hypno properties animated this is to allow um this is to allow let's save that uh these show helpers and hide hypno uh, menu options to work so make sure you have these set to animated if you want to use these on any of the new materials that you put on on here on this prefab so you might want to adjust the screen space volume here depending on the bounds of your avatar because the bigger this is pretty much this controls the guaranteed viewing area so for, for example i have a really small volume but then i look away the hypno effect will disappear and depending on the size of and like the, the fade in and the fade out range of this you might of your of your materials you might want to make this bigger make this smaller etc right and so you can freely manipulate this and it won't do anything ba like bad or anything like that. 
And if you don't want to use VRC Fury, um, that's okay. What you'll need to do is you'll still need to place this prefab here. You're probably gonna this is this right here is probably gonna be a missing script for you because you don't have VRC Fury installed. It's fine to delete the missing script. Go ahead and do that. There's no problem there. But what you, you are gonna want to do is you're gonna want to find your avatar's FX controller and merge the parameters, the layers in here with the with the layers in the screen series effect um, animator and also you're going to want to merge the parameters of the screen space effects into your animator controller and then you're going to want to merge the expression parameters of screen space params into your avatar's expression parameters and then also you're going to want to somehow assign the screen space menu into your avatar menu so you can actually access these VRC Fury will do these things for you, uh, but you can also do this manually um, by hand by copying all these, or you can use Avatar's 3.0 manager here to do this merging. I don't have it installed in this project, but in this project here, if I open up, open up this, you can kind of start to drag your Avatar descriptor in here to uh, merge the effects layer controller with, um, with something else, or and then you can also merge the parameters here. Uh, yeah, you can drag the parameters in here and copy parameters, uh, though you'll, you'll need to do the menu yourself manually.